Well, hello guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you today with a live CGC unboxing. I don't know how well this stream is going to work. My system has been glitchy for the last hour, so I'm looking over at my uh, live stream here. Yeah, my opening uh, video did not play. Hopefully you're reading me here. I'm gonna see this soon enough. Yeah, it looks like it is working. Guys, I'm Kevin the Comic Doctor. I do apologize. Sometimes we have glitches. I think it's really time to upgrade my system. I've been saying that for a long time. It's really, it really has to happen soon, guys. Listen, I'm sorry about that. If you're new here, guys, I'm Kevin the Comic Doctor. I'm a comic book presser. I'm also a uh, CGC authorized dealer located way up in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. I have not been on here for quite a while, about a week or so. But I have four humongous boxes here to share with you today. I want to get through it as soon as possible. And it is customary here for me to go over and talk to all of you once I uh, once my stack of books gets too high. I have to rebag them and put them back in the CGC box. And at that time, we go over to the chat room and I talk to you. Answer any questions you might have about CGCing or comic book collecting or pressing or, or what's happening here at the office as well. So again, to, to take part in that, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. And by the way, you must, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Five more subscribers. Five more, guys. And we're at 2,000. When I hit that 2,000 mark, very soon after that, we're going to have a huge giveaway. It'll be a live, spectacular celebratory event where I'll be giving out all kinds of fun prizes and such. So I hope you'll really consider subscribing to the channel so we can get to that, uh, that celebratory video sooner rather than later. Okay, enough of that, guys. Four boxes. I'm going to try to rock and roll right through these. I hope my stream doesn't mess up on me because, like I said, the computer has been acting very glitchy. You can probably hear the, the USB has been... I, I don't know what's going on. My mic wasn't working, and then... My videos aren't working, and oh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Okay, let's get going. I think my overhead cam is working. I sure hope it is. The first book we get out of the box, and I always like to see this out of the box, a 9.8. We see a Wolverine number one and a 9.8. We got several invoices here. All right, and we'll continue with this. We have, okay, a 9.8, and has a sister copy and a 9.6. Sound work. Yes, sound is still working, which is good. We have a Strange Tales 178 and an 8.5. Just getting here now, guys. Sorry, we started a little bit later. And I do appreciate you guys waiting for me. Um, we have an Amazing Spider-Man 252 and a 9.0. We also have another one. And this is a Canadian price variant. Adds to that one. This one is a 9.6. Nothing wrong with that. We got a Dragon Ball Z comic, uh, number one, and an 8.5. It's a book I don't see too often. And like I said, my stack of comics has exceeded the uh, the height limit, so I have to pack these babies up. So I'll go over to the chat room. A lot of you are in here already. And again, I do apologize for making you guys wait so long, but I do, uh, I'm do. i glad you, you did stick around. Uh, chat window's there. We go right over there. Marty's here. First one in. Welcome, James. If you like comics, it's the place to be. Am I? Yeah, I guess. All right. Yeah, well, thanks, Marty, for, for pumping the channel. Hey, everybody, the P-Man says, another great unboxing coming up. Yes, hope so. Made you wait. Sorry. Um, Digital Man. Hello, everyone. Almost 2,000 subs. Digital Man, last I checked, we needed five more. Maybe the last five people are on in this room right now. We got 20 likes, which is a good sign. A good, healthy group of people. P-Man's Evening Kev. The doc is in the house, finally. John Sherwood says, hello, guys. John Gordon. Hi, everyone. How many more subscribers do you need? There you go. Nope, five more. Travis, how you doing, Travis? Hey, great to get a notification of an unboxing because I am subscribed. Yes, Travis, thank you so much, my friend. You're almost at the 2K. Yes, you are all noticing that as well, which is fantastic. Uh, Adam is here. Hello, Adam. John Gordon, did the doc hit the snooze button? <laughs> Hope he gets a principal note for being late. Yeah, I know. Guys, only so much a one-man show can do. If I had a producer, man, this wouldn't happen. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Hi, John Gordon. Adam, that submitter in the thumbnail looks pretty crisp. Now, guys... Come on now, those those uh, thumbnails. I'm gonna just tell you right off, the, right off the bat. Those are all. Those are all. You know, those are not my books. Those are books I just borrow off, offline. But the one in the, in the thumbnail is quite nice. Um, and I, I think the copy I do have is pretty nice as well too. Uh, bu 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 oh, sorry, bad Aubrey couldn't wait around, but I'm glad he was here for a while. John is still here. I'm wondering if he went eight, but doesn't realize. I'll tell you, I thought it was actually seven thirty, but. Uh, 
regardless of what time I was supposed to start, the damn computer wasn't working properly. Okay, next we've got a sticker attached to the back. Oh, they gave this one a uh, this nine a nine point two qualified because there's a sticker on the back cover, right there. They should have been should again. I should have been qualified. That's ridiculous to qualify that. It's ridiculous. I wish they get their their story straight in terms of when they're gonna when they're gonna do a, a stick you know, a qualified book or not. And I, I don't think a sticker should constitute that. We've got a 6.5 copy of Hulk 340. This is a newsstand edition. All right. We also have a no, oh nice no, a 9.8 copy of Punisher War Journal number seven. We also have a 6.5 copy of Super Goop number 62, a Whitman comic. Again, a book you don't see very often. We got a long shot uh, number one and a 9.2. Now, this is a, co a comic I've been seeing a lot more of. I mean, I mean, a lot more. I've been seeing this baby. Quite frequently now. What's going on with Longshot? I don't know, but um, it's here very regularly. So, I'm already you guys are discussing where the hell I was. Again, I do apologize. I'll come back every half hour. That's a good idea. Um, all right. Oh, okay. Now I know where we are. All right. Uh, John says he scored a Star Wars number one CBCS 9-4 for a song. Great. Marty, I have to bail soon. Oh, it's too bad. Curious, Kev, what percentage of submissions are just clean and press? No grading. Honestly, probably 90, 99% grading. Seriously. Um, even if they're not getting graded by me, uh, and people will send me their, their uh, submission forms, and I'll, sh I'll send them to CG CGC for them, but they are still getting them graded, right? So... Um, that is very, very common. But yeah, to not get graded, 1%, most people are, 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 are having the books graded as well. All right. We're not even through the first of four boxes, my friends. We've got a really awesome copy of X-Men 133. Awesome John Byrne cover in a 9.2. Whoops, whoop, whoop, whoop. In a 9.2. We have an 8.5 copy of X-Men 112. We got a bunch of X-Men going on here. Let's have a look-see. Yeah, we got a little, little another, another X-Men book here. A nice copy of 102 and a nice grade in a 9.2 white pages. Not bad. Not bad at all. We have an 8.5 copy of Amazing Spider-Man. 194. There we are. And then, you know what? How about another copy? Another 8.5. This one, they're both white pager, right? Not, not, not bad. Not bad at all. We have a 9.4 copy of uh, another another ASM 252. This one is sporting the lovely um, cover, the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, custom label. And to go along with that, we also have a 9.8 copy of, of Secret Wars. Seeing this a lot in a 9.8. What's going on with this book? I have no problem with that. I love giving out these books in 9.8. I've been seeing it quite frequently. So again, we are at the uh, top of my pack here. Let's go back to the uh, chat and see what you guys were saying. All right. Uh, let's go past some of these because it's starting. Yes. Good evening, Doc. Hello, 80s guy. Good to see you. Hey, James, the real Hyperion. How is it going? See what happens when you don't comment and subscribe. GTA lady, howdy, how you doing? Hit the button, John Sherwood says. I'd have to agree with him. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And again, I do apologize for those that were waiting that uh, the show started a little later today. Tim's here. A custom made everything. Upgrade your system. Invest in yourself. I know. You know, I have a student of mine who has promised to redo my system. And that was supposed to happen back in December. And then, as you know, uh, things in he around here were pretty hairy back then. So I just never got around to it. And now I am stuck with the system for maybe a little bit longer. But I'm dying to get to a nice new system. Because this one blows. Um, Eric Williams is here. What does Eric say? Where'd it go? 
Where did Eric go? There he is. I try to pump you up on my Instagram. Come on, five more subs. Eric, thanks for that, man. I appreciate it. Robert says, hello. Hello, Robert. How's it going? Uh, Digital man, Kevin, is it possible to remove a black Sharpie ink spot on a white comic book cover? No, sir. No, uh, markers, ink, that kind of stuff is on there for good. There are techniques to remove ink. It's a very, very lengthy process, and the results are always very good. But generally speaking, um, when it comes to um, when it comes to ink or uh, or marker, yeah, it's 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 a no go generally. All right, let's keep going, guys. Box one. Almost done. On to box two of four in just a few moments. We've got an ultimate fallout number uh, four in an 8.5. This one's got a lot of spine ticks along the back, along the side, but still a nice copy. And it has that nifty uh, Miles Morales custom label. All right. We also have another uh, Amazing Spider-Man 252 with the custom label. It is a popular custom label, my friends. We also have an amazing Spider-Man annual number 16. First appearance of the new Captain Mar uh, Marvel, uh, Monica Rambeau. And an 8-0. We also have, nothing wrong with this, a nice copy of Amazing Spider-Man 129. The first puncher in a 6.5 white pager, which is kind of nice. We also have an amazing Spider-Man 300. You can't have a box with an ASM 300, right, guys? And this one's a 9-0 white pager. We also have a new Mutants 98. Uh, new stand edition. That was a nice copy. Oh, didn't get out alive, guys. First, is that a crack? Oh, oh yeah, that's a crack, all right. Got our first crack. Make sure the other ones aren't cracked. And that's a 9.6. This is going back to CGC probably early next week. That blows. We didn't get out of it. Let's see if this one got cracked too. Let's see the next one. I hope this one didn't get cracked because this is a really nice book here, guys. We've got, yes, we've got a 9.8 Ultimate Follow for another 9.8. Uh, yes, so glad to see that. I'm making sure this slab is not cracked because it was right beside that New Mutants 98. And sometimes I find when one book is cracked, the ones around the other, uh, the book are also cracked with it. But I'm going to put this one here off to the side, right here, so I know to send that away. I want to make sure these are not cracked either, because sometimes you miss it, and you don't want to miss it. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's get back to the chat, and I'll get over to the second box in just a moment. Boom, boom, boom. Custom made everything says, I love to know estimated values on these books. Is there a website I can look at? while i watch well ebay ebay sold is always you know people are is the, is the best and you'll see most of these on ebay solds i mean i know well, i don't I, I don't even hazard a guess on these book values but so, some are you know you're best to go to ebay solds that's a free way i mean you can always use gp analysis but that costs about 20 bucks canadian a month and that's kind of like the comic book cgc comic book stock market that shows the uh, highs and lows right um or you could just ask people in the room. A lot of the guys out there actually know the values of most of these books, which is great. All right, we have 40 people in the house, guys. Welcome, 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 my friends. Kevin the Comic Doctor doing another live unboxing. And I just am finishing up my first box. And we are going to move on to box two of four in just a moment. I was going to do two boxes tonight and two boxes later. But you know what? This week is, you know, tomorrow night we got Ant-Man. And then Friday is another busy day, and I just want to get these done and sorted so I can get them back to you guys as soon as possible. I have sent out texts to people whose books are finished, and a lot of people have not booked the time to come in and grab them. So um, make sure you check your texts for when I, you know, when I do send you a text with that information. Again, now, if you want to come in to see me at the Comic Doctor's office to pick up an order, you will want to go to... Um, uh, my, 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 my booking website, I guess you could call it. And you can get there from my, my from comicdoctor.com, go to contact us. And there's an appointments button there. You can click on that and you can make an appointment to see me on Saturday. Um, you don't have to make an appointment to drop book books off unless you want to, if you, you want to, you can, those appointments are more for me to keep track of who's coming in to pick up their CGC books. That's pretty much why that is there. Okay. Here we go. My friend. Oh, Again, lots of invoices. Well, not lots. I got one, two, 
We've got a modern order. We've got another modern order, and we've got a single standard. Oh, looks like uh, it came right in the nick of time. Uh, looks like Steve's Fantastic Four 12 is back. He'll be happy. All right, here we go. And we starting off with that one? Yes, we are. Nice, here we go. The only Silver Age book in this lot, but it's a, it's a doozy, guys. It's a doozy. Boom. Fantastic Four, uh, number 12. First meeting of the Hulk and the FF in a 4.0. Nice book. All right, we've got some Superman books here. We've got a 9.8 Son of Kal-El. Very nice. We've got a few, uh, modern, quite a few modern books now. We've got a 9.4 copy of Spider-Man 2099. There, oh, get on there, get on there. There we go, keep it nice and straight for you. Got a nice 9.8 copy of Nightwing 78. Again, these books, these books were there for maybe a week and a half, two weeks, seriously. These just got there. We also have a 9.8 copy of Batman 89. I think these are Mike's books. Mike, you still out there? Are these yours? I think a lot of these are yours. Uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 facsimile edition. Coverless. Coverless. I don't understand that. And it says no grade. I'm not, I don't quite understand that. That's weird. Anybody, can anybody explain why that'd be considered coverless with no grade? Because I don't understand that. Uh, we've got another uh, one here. We've got a Superman 78 number one with Christopher Reeve on the front, also in a 9.8. Some nice grades you got there, Mike. Good eye, good eye. Um, all right, I'll put these off to the side. I'll go back to chat town, see what's going on. 38 views in the room, 31 likes. Keep it going, guys. Um, Deb's here. I've been here since sub 100s. Well, Deb, thank you for sticking around with the channel. I certainly appreciate it. I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. Once uh, we get through the 2,000 subscriber draw, no longer am I going to make you guys wait to like, you know, 2,500, 3,000. We are going to have monthly giveaways. That's how it's going to work. We're going to have monthly giveaways starting at 2,000. So every month, I'll give out a comic, you know, and if, if, and I'll tell you, most of the, actually all the gifts this time I'm giving out are from you guys, uh, channel members, channel subscribers have come to the shop and so graciously and, and generously given me comics to share with everybody. So, uh, you know, and I'll be shouting all you guys out who did that for me at the actual video. So that's pretty cool. You know, one more look on that one. There you go. Uh, it's very nice and very generous of all, of all of you who decided to do that. Um, let's swig of water here. Uh, Ken Chan's here. How you doing, Ken? Good to see you. We're going to keep this party going. Spawn number one, nine point eight white pages. That's what you want. How about another 9.8? Sure, I'll take another 9.8. Batman number one, also in a 9.8 on uh, the new 52. Modern books galore. We have a TMNT, uh, Ninja Turtles, no, Volume 4, Number 1, also in a 9.8 white pages. Good. Good, good, good. Oh. Oh. I think this is... I don't remember, but I believe this is a... This is a, a crack and repress, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100%. But I'm pretty sure this was a low nine, like a nine four and nine six. I cracked it, and it came back a nine eight. I believe, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent. You'll see that in a, in a future uh, picture on Instagram if it is. But anyways, nine point eight, and you get the and okay. This is okay. You've got a green label here because there's an un, uh, unwitnessed signature. Fine, but why is it? Why does a sticker have to be on there? I don't know if it, there's a sticker on the book. Why is it qualified? I don't get that. Like I wish they would really solidify why a book gets a green qualified label and to me it should be if it's missing something missing a page missing an, an ad um or you know if you want to say for signatures so be it but not because there's a sticker or because a staple's missing that to me shouldn't be qualified that should be on the blue label and noted but that's again i don't run that place guys We've got a 9.2 copy of Saga number three. We got a bunch of Saga books here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one there is uh, is a crack and resub, but again, I might be wrong. 
And if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, that one had some issues down here that I that I cleaned up, and I'm quite happy it got a 9.8. I had a feeling it would. Those Sago number ones are kind of like um, kind of like the ultimate follows. They just they just they pressed out really really nice. We also have a Saga number two. They're not quite as generous with the Saga number two. We got a 9.6. We got more Sagas in here, I believe. All right, we're going to go back to the chat because I run out of room again, guys. Again, this is box two of four. Uh, if you're just getting here now, you can always rewind to the beginning to watch the other books if you'd like. Uh, Sam T says, can't see the book. Oh, whoop. Did I screw something up? I apologize. Pat O'Brien says you can't remove the sticker. Well, you know, removing stickers isn't as easy as you might think. And oftentimes when you remove a sticker, it causes more problems than not. And um, yeah, so I, I, I don't always remove the sticker, especially if I feel it's going to damage the book. Um, when do we see them? What the heck? Did you not see any of those books there? Fashionly, fashionably late, now it doesn't want us to show the books. Oh, come on. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure which ones I didn't show you, but I'm showing you them now. All right, I'll show you them now as we, moving forward. That's for sure. I know those sagas were on there. I do apologize. I was in live chat mode, but it bumped me out. There we go. uh apologize if you didn't see those books guys can we see 340 up close yeah i can find the 340 for you hold on let me put these guys away and get resettled here guys sorry about that uh what's up dog hey tough medicine how you doing i have a minty cerebus 21 with a very slight color rub onto the white cover yes that probably could come off that probably could come off marty p custom made ebay recent sales is not as is, is most accurate there you go you know what? I don't know why the live chat keeps bouncing to top chat. I always put it in live and it bounces to top. So I do apologize for that. Um, hey, Tough Medicine, Marty P. We'd say, okay, John, does CGC offer the Silver Surfer label? Right currently, I don't believe there's a Silver Surfer label. They used to have one. And there may be another one again. But as of right now, I don't believe there is. What is, all this, what is with all the cracked slabs? Are they packing differently? Actually, so far we only have had one, so that's not so bad. Uh, I don't know. I've always said it's just, they, there's a lot of room for them to move inside those, those boxes. It's plastic on plastic, so sometimes that happens. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of these guys that we missed. So we got a 9.6 Saga. We had a 9.8 Superman. I'm not sure if you've seen these or not, but apparently I missed a bunch, so. Well, actually, no, you saw those. I got a feeling I, you guys missed a bunch earlier, and I, I can't go back now. I can't go back. Sorry. Um, Paul Bryan says, it would be great to see examples of why a book got a certain grade at 9, 6, and 7, 9, 8 up close. Yeah, this is the place for it, unfortunately. I could sometimes... I could do a video where I, I pull some nine sixes and then we do kind of a kind of an investigation on it. But right here, I just want to get through the books. I don't want to spend hours talking about one single book. But that's a that's a good idea for a video at another time, Paul. Rob says, "What is it with all the crack slabs?" You said that already. Does CGC Redlands for free if they cra chip cracked? Ship cracked. Yeah. Well, like I said, if if CGC if we get a book back from CGC that's cracked, yes, they will. If you let them know within a, you know, I think it's five business days, they will uh, pay to have them all reslabbed. They'll even pay for the shipping. In fact, I had eight or twelve books that uh, uh, that Mike had. They were all really high end books. One was a nine eight uh, ASM three hundred even, and an AS and an and a New Mutants not big books. New Mutants ninety eight nine eight. Anyways. I contacted them. They were so amazing. They shipped me a shipping. They sent me a shipping label. So I paid to have the ship the, the book shipped back, and they're going to ship the books back to me once they're already slabbed on them. So yeah, they do take care of that. And, and to be honest, really, really, is it their fault? Is it their fault the book are getting cracked? You know, there's only so much you can do to protect the books. You know, and they can still come back cracked. Wayne says, "Quick question." Yeah, go ahead. 
Smash that like button, guys. Yes, please. Mario P. GP analysis check. Go for it. Hey, everyone. Hey, Prince Zodiac. How are you? Wayne, I have Slab Comics and a Raw that I'd like to get signed. Alex Ross is now signing the CC. Can I get you to submit it for me? Exclusive label, too. Of course you can, Wayne. Of course you can. And I'm even thinking of starting. I'm going to start. I'm going to start doing kind of like a. I don't know how I'm going to say this. I'm going to start doing like a, like a service for this because a lot of, a lot of these guys are coming to CGC for exclusive signings. I'm going to start offering, uh, you know, that service with me. So if you want to get your books pressed and cleaned with me, I'll make sure they get there in time. Uh, I'll try it and see how it goes. If that becomes too overwhelming, then maybe I won't be able to do it. But yeah, I saw Alex Ross is there and, and I love Alex Ross. So yeah, when you answer your question, I, I will ha be happy to do that. But I got to figure out what I'm going to... Listen, we don't make, I don't make anything on those. Where I send a book in to get graded, like I said, I, I get 15 points. So for every $100, I get 15 bucks. Um, with the books that are being signed, I get zero. They don't give the dealers anything. So I have to really... Um, figure out a way you know what am i going to charge for the for that probably 20 bucks book a book or something like that for the for the uh, for the for the signature series uh but i'll figure that all out but to answer your question yes i'll, I'll be happy to do that for you prince zodiac hey i use C, uh cvr price for general fair record value for books raw and, and and great i've heard of them i heard they're quite good as well now i'm in live chat mode wayne thank you um here i'm gonna do something for wayne can I do this? How do I? Wayne is now a moderator. Wayne, you're a moderator. You're always helping me out. So you're a moderator. Welcome, Wayne. When you're here, you don't have to come here all the time, but when you're here, you're a moderator. Paul O'Brien, um, is there a note on the coverless AF15? Sounds like a CGC mistake, which we all know they never make. Yeah, Paul, I'm going to look into that because I don't understand why they would give that book a, a cover missing when there's a cover right there, but perhaps there's something I'm missing because it's a, it's a, it's a reprint, right? Uh, Cloudwalker facsimile might have been a sketch cover with the blank cover removed. That's what I am thinking. Something along those lines, Cloudwalker. Sam T, the AF15 is probably a QA uh, error. Way to go, CGC. Yeah, I'll have to find out for sure. Uh, Prince Zodiac says, you can scan the QR code now and it will explain the grade. Where the heck did it go? Here, you, got, you guys do it. You guys did that before, right? Scan the QR code. Let me know what it says. There you go. Scan the QR code. Let us know what it says. Um, any idea how much CGC charges for a Kraken sign? I think with a Kraken sign, you are basically... Uh, they do charge a fee to crack it, and then you're going to be regrading it again. They'll, they'll charge you a cracking fee, and then they'll sign you for they'll still, they'll charge you for the signature, and then they'll charge you to regrade it again. Essentially, pa uh, Paul O'Brien says, "How many nine nine to tens have you seen pre modern? Pre modern, not a one, not a one in ten years." Ooh, Amazing Fantasy fifteen NG is a coverless cover book. The white blank cover was removed. The one with the barcode. There you go. That's your answer, guy. Digital man. I think you're probably right. Luke's here. How you doing, Luke Wayne? And what are the odds that they grade a nine point eight lower CGC signing? I've seen them. Got, but you know what, Wayne? In all honesty, uh, and and this is for my client. I've had clients come to me and say they've sent them in for grading. Um, they've been they were you know they were already graded a nine six or a nine four. They sent in to get grade to, to get signed. It comes back a nine eight. So it can even go up. And go down, but it can even go up. I've, I've seen that. I've heard that. All right, let's keep going here, guys. And then we'll get back to the chat in just a minute. If you want to join in the chat, guys, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we will see where we are. Let's see where we let's see if we've hit the uh, the two thousand subscribers. I got a feeling we have not, but let's see. You never know. Your videos go to analytics. It tells me exactly to the number, to the to the to the exact number how many subscribers I currently have. Once I get there, and I go here. Do we go up at all? Oh, three more to go. 1997. 1,997 subscribers. Three more to 2,000. If you haven't subscribed yet, guy there, guys, please get me to 2,000. And we're going to have a celebration probably next week sometime uh, to mark this momentous occasion. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, back my live stream. And all right, next we have an amazing Spider Man 210. First appearance of Madam Web in an 8.5. I want to make there's no cracks on this guy i don't see anything all right 
I miss it though, guys. Sometimes I'll, I'll look it over and I'll still, I'll still miss the crack. One time you guys found the crack and I, and I didn't see it. All right. We've got an amazing Spider-Man 361. This one is a newsstand copy and it comes to us in a 9.6 right there. But you know what? It's okay because we have right beside it a 9.8. This one's the direct edition. Wow. Love the newsstand copy. A newsstand copy, 252 and a 9.8. Look at that. What a beautiful book. You don't see that in 9.8 very much in a newsstand. That's great. We have also got an amazing Spider-Man. Like I told you, every box. So the first box had a ASM 300. Here's another ASM 300, yes. There's a little, little tear there. So you know the book's not going to be super high grade. We've got a 6.0. And we got an 8.5 copy of ASM 301. This one's also a new stand edition. And my stack is yet again very high, so I have to go back to chat. Join us in the chat. Why don't you hit the subscribe button and join in the fun? Uh, big night tonight, Doc. Chuck, I think so. Maybe we'll get to 2,000. They're supposed to get... They're supposed to get um... Wow, look at that. My, even my streaming software is acting funny tonight, guys. I hope this is working okay. Um, yeah, uh, essentially, Prince Zodiac, what'll happen is you're going to get a green label. You still get a 9.8, right? But it's a green label. Um, uh, Robert N says, you taken subs for Alex Roth? I think I answered that already. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to. When you leave chat and come back as top chat, oh, is that what happens? Because, and I, cause I, mean, I rebooted a couple of times. That's, maybe that's what happened. I would crack your slab first so you choo could choose a SIG placement window. You know what? I, I, I don't like to send books to CGC. Um, say I'm going to have a book signed by Alex Ross, and it's already a 9.4. I don't want to send that book in the slab already with a 9.4. I'd rather have the book cracked, prepped, and sent, and then get it regraded. I don't know if the graders see the old grade. They say they don't. They say they don't. But how, how do you know that for sure? I'm not there. And I'd rather them see my book with fresh eyes for the first time with no grade, you know, presence. So, but that's just me. We also have a copy here of another one, Amazing Spider-Man 298 in a 9.6. Very nice. A 9.4299. These are nice books, actually. These books are usually chewed up pretty good. This is these are pretty nice uh, copies. Um Amazing Spider-Man 316 in a also a 9-0. Wow. In a 9-0. We have got a Daredevil number 181 and a 7.5 white pages. Oh, look at that one. And we've got an 8.0 150. Oh, look at those ripples. I hate those ripples. 158. Again, look at these ugly ripples on the top of this stupid uh, uh, that that inner well. Where is it? Can you get a good look? Uh yeah, look at, the, look at that. Look at those ripples at the top. Oh, I can't stand it. Not every book, okay? Not every book. But sometimes, the way they're, in, they're placed inside these inner wells, they're just awful. Anyways, 8.0, white pager. And finally, so close. Oh, my Lord. 9.6 white page copy. First appearance of Electra. A really sharp copy in a 9.6 white page is not a bad book to have in the PC. That is for sure. Guys, that's the second box. There's four boxes. There's two more boxes to go. We've been going for about 35 minutes. I'm going to try to get this done in under an hour. Is it possible? Can I do it? Let's go back to chat and see what you guys are saying. Um, Blade Man's here. Stevie. Hey, Kev. Good to see my FFK in. Yes. So 
I am giving your books to Roy tomorrow morning, Steve. I'm going to have them ready for him for the morning. He'll pick them up from Uncle Joe. Um, if you're doing the Alex Ross, can you do books with acetate covers? I'm trying to think. Are you talking about the um, the marbles? Is that what you're talking about, Sam? Nippur's in the house, guys. Nippur's in the house. How you doing, Nippur? Good to see you. Paul O'Brien says, whoa, 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 whoa. Doc, you must spend as much time on logistics paperwork and shipping as you do cleaning. Buddy, you have no idea. That's what my life has become, logistics. Cleaning, pressing? Yeah. I work on the big ones, generally. But, um... Yeah, but my life has become paperwork. And, and, and... It looks like I've created a monster here, guys, right? Because um, I'll be honest, a lot of guys around here don't want to do CGC. Uh, I've got, <laughs> I'm not going to, I don't want to mention names, but I have big, big comic companies in Toronto and one just around the corner from me here who are sending guys to me to do CGC for them because they don't want to do it anymore. It's a pain in the ass. No one likes to do CGC. It, it really is. It's a lot of paperwork and organization and 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 i guess i do a pretty good job at it because uh people keep coming back and and i'm hearing all kinds of horror stories from other you know clients about them going elsewhere and books kind of vanishing books don't vanish they just get misplaced or people are disorganized and and and, and i am not disorganized it, sometimes i feel like i am but everyone's books are in order uh you know, funny I should say that. Funny story. Today, I, well, yesterday, I'm looking for uh, a guy's books. And the poor is like, do you, you know, she goes, you have his books, right? I'm like, I didn't get his books. And she's like, no, I gave you those books last week. I go, no, no, you didn't give me those books. I looked, I couldn't find them. So today I said, you check the shop, make sure they're not there. She texted me this morning, the books aren't here. I said, ah, oh, frick. So I come back here, I started looking, and I look off to my left, and I have a stack of invoices I haven't processed yet. And there they are. They're there. That's all. They're there. I just there's so many invoices. I can't remember everybody's names. That's the problem, right? But yeah, you, Paul, you you've hit the nail on the head. Paperwork and shipping is a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. So much so now that I went and bought one of those zebra printers now, where I where I'm doing shipping, I can print out the labels a lot quicker because of, you know efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Uh, Deb says says coverless greater notes not available. Hmm. Because it's a nine eight. That's that's why. Oh no, it's a no. Oh. I wonder why. It says cover less, cover less, greater notes not available. I don't know the answer to that. But a lot of guys here said there was a cover on that on that book that was missing, and that's why it's got the, the, the grade of no grade. Paul, nice 361. Wow, 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 252, 9.8. We do stand. My sentiments exactly. Digital Man ASM, 252, UPC, CGC, 980, uh, beauty. You're darn right. It is worth big bucks. Uh, did that jump in... Did that jump in video? I think, yeah, it did jump. And I, I, like I, at that moment, my system shut down and reconnected again. So there was a bit of a jump. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going, my friends. All right, so that's that's box number two. Let's slide this out of the way. Ugh, heavy box. There we go. The books are coming back fast. We're going to see, we're going to have a little lull for a few days, but then in about a week and a half, I'm going to be hit with like 10 or 15 boxes. I've got so many books over there right now. I'm shipping out between 150 to 200 books every week, week and a half. And they're getting done within two and a half weeks, three weeks. So just imagine, we're going to have a lot of unboxings to do moving forward. All right. What do we have here? Oh my goodness. This is not what I think. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Is Peter here? Peter, don't go nowhere. I think, I think these are yours. Peter G. If you guys are in for some uh, DC fun now, here we go. I saw Peter's name there. Hopefully he's stick, still sticking around. We got a Just League of America, uh, number 68 and a 6.0. This whole box is all DC, guys. Thanks to Peter. He's our resident DC fanatic. We have got an Adventure Comics 381. Also, in a, well, in a 6.5. If you're a DC... Oh, wow. Oh, I love seeing these books in this grade. 
Detective Comics, number 403. Beautiful. Neil Adams cover, 9.4. That's what I like to see. Hopefully I see more of those, hopefully. Oh, Secret Six, number one. Origin and, and first appearance of Secret Six. We've got a 6.0 on that one. We got a Hawk and Dove number one, also in a six point five. Gee, six. These grades are interesting, eh? These guys, these are Peter's books, and Peter, uh, these are his own books from when he was a kid buying these off the rack or off the, out of the store. So it, it makes sense that the books will be, you know, all around the similar grades. And he stored them all the same way. Um, they all probably had this very similar problems. And anyways, here we go. Let's keep going. But hopefully we can see a few more high grade ones like that detective. Okay, that's better. 8.5 copy of Showcase 75. First appearance of Hawk and Dove. Now this is a book I do want to find at some point. And it's a white pager too. Very, very nice. And we are now uh, at the top of the stack. Guys, we're not even like a third of the way through the uh, Peter's DC box. So don't go anywhere. Let's go back to the, to the chat and I'll get back to the box in just a moment. Um, oh, what happened there? I jumped a little bit. Oh, there's going to let me find where I'm going here. Please subscribe. We need to see 2K tonight. Let's see. Let's go over and see we're up. Oh, still at 1997. Oh, Oh, wait, we are at 2,000 subscribers. So thank you to all you guys that came out tonight and got us there, those last five. Now let's get, now I need to, I'll tell you, I feel a lot better doing that celebration for 2010 or 2008 at least. So keep on subscribing, guys. Thank you so much. That's fantastic. We've made it. That means Jack has got to get us, going to make me a chocolate cake. He told me when he had 2,000 subscribers, Jack's going to bake me a chocolate cake. That is awesome. Hold on a second. All right, we'll keep going here. Peter G. Venom and Spidey Night. Geez, yeah, well, Peter, you spoke too soon, brother, because all your books are coming back. Look at, guys, I got to show. Look at that. Love it. Love that. What a cover. All right. Um, come on in. Can you, can you, come on. All right. Um, yes, the Marvels. Um, you know what? It's funny you should mention that, Sam. I don't think I've ever pressed a Marvel, an Alex Ross Marvel's book. I'm not sure. I have to see it. I have to check it out and look at it. Be really quite honest. I have to check it out. I'm sure we could do something with it. Um. Oh, I jumped over uh, Luke. Do the ripples happen on Golden Age books with the bigger inner sleeve? Um, not as much. Not as much, but I, I find that with the modern books, it's like a one size fits all. And because of that, we're getting this, um, the ripple effect. Look at that, buddy. Look, <gasps> say hi to everybody. Hi everyone. That is a thousand subscribers. 2000, not a thousand. I mean, 2, yeah. what, what does that mean? What happens now? What are you going to do? Uh, I was going to, I promised him that I was going to make a chocolate cake. I'm getting the chocolate cake, baby. So get going downstairs, eggs, flour. Now? No, 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 I don't have to do it now. <laughs> no, no, not now, not now. This weekend, do it, okay? So, that's awesome. Tomorrow's also Ant-Man and the Quantumania. Yeah, we're going to see Ant-Man tomorrow night, although it's getting really bad reviews. What? Go check the Rotten Tomato right now. Go. Are you sure? You're not going to be very happy about this. Okay. Uh, we'll keep going here. Uh, so close, Dustin. We are there, brother. Thanks to all of you tonight. Thank you for coming out. Uh, Paul O'Brien. Doc, can you discuss all... A AI grading. I believe soon we will be able to grade a book with a smartphone camera or video that could eliminate slabs except for presentation and elim eliminate cover SIGs. Uh, that's a big car. Paul, you know, these, all these great topics for, for videos. Um, I have heard all kinds of uh, uh, talk of uh, you know, artificial intelligence grading. Uh, again, that's, that's a big conversation. Um, could it happen? Yeah, it could. Um, you know, would I want to send my books in, uh, you know, put my Amazing Fantasy 50 into a computer that blows the covers and takes a picture of every cover and no, 
you know, but for modern books, maybe. But again, that's a, that's a good conversation to have, but it's a long conversation. I don't know how accurate, I mean, are people going to, the books are still loose, right? So if you buy a loose book that's, you know, apparently you use your cell phone to grade it, who's to say you're not changing that book when you send it in? When it's slabbed and graded, it's slabbed and graded. Once it's cracked out of that slab, the, 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 the grade is null and void, right? So that is the thing about it. And I don't think it'll go into, I think you're, oh, I, th I don't think we're ever gonna get, get away from the slabs. I think the slabs are here to stay, you know? Maybe different kinds of slabs, but they're certainly here to stay, I think. Okay, but a good conversation to have another time. Uh, we're gonna go over to more of Peter's DC books. We've got, uh, a Batman uh, 217 and a 7.5. <laughs> Centerfold missing. 0.5 copy. And this is a rough book, guys. But hey, still a first appearance of Poison Ivy. Nonetheless, gotta love that. All right. Where did my cursor go? There it is. There we go. Okay. Um, we also have a copy. Oh, my gosh. Batman Detective Comics 414. Again, we've got a really nice grade here, guys, and a 9.0. Gorgeous. I'll put that over here for you guys to see a little, a little nicer. I love these old Batman books. They're so beautiful. Now, guys, these were economy books. Peter wanted to send them under economy. He said, I don't care. I don't want to pay the big bucks for the fast track. I'm patient. And he was patient. And they came in actually under, they came in quicker than I thought they were going to come in. I think things are speeding up over at CGC, even in, in all areas. But here we got a green uh, Lantern 77 and a 7.0. Oh, wow. Green Lantern 79. Again, we have another awesome Neil Adams cover. 9.2 off white to white very nice we also have a oh, another classic cover here we another neil adams cover 7.5 uh batman uh or sorry tech 408 and a 7.5 look at that wicked some great classic covers here guys ne uh very, very nice. I'll pack these guys up again. We're still not done. We still have almost a half a box left of Peter's books to go through. So, yeah. So, officially, guys, we are now at 2,001 subscribers. Awesome. So, again, thank you very much. We have reached that milestone. We will be doing the giveaway very, very soon. Probably within about seven days or so. I got to find some time to do it and organize all the gifts and figure out how I'm going to give them all out. Um, all right, so back to the chat. Alex Olivas, how you doing? Iato, Ito, okay. No shops, the Luke, no shops to CGC or CBS anymore in the area. Yeah, in the um, <laughs> Ito, Yato, okay. Um, yeah, Luke, I don't believe that, that anyone does. They don't want to do it. E even like, you know, I'll, I'll mention Carlos over at Gotham. He's not a fan of it either. And, and honestly, I'm not a fan of it either. But the difference between me and Carlos and me and a lot of the comic shops is I'm not a comic shop. Like, I, I, it's not my primary function. Sure, when you come to see me in Oshawa here, I have books up on the wall, but I don't have like thousands and thousands of books for sale. It's, 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 I offer a service. And what goes hand in hand with pressing and cleaning? Grading. So how am I supposed to evade it and, and not offer it right so um and if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it right and i'm gonna do it honestly and i'm gonna do it properly and uh i think that's why people keep coming back and, uh, and again i have no problem with that um and luckily i have a good base of clients who are very patient because as you know over the last couple of years it's been really hairy around here um but i think over the course of the next year now things are starting to starting to gel you know, things are starting to really gel. And the poor and Charlo are 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 are, are firing in all cylinders. Like um, like I told you, I, I inspect every single book, and to their to their dismay. <laughs> and you know, I go in there every other day and I look at the books. I'm like, nope, redo. I'm starting to do a lot less redos, which means that they're doing it right the first time, second time, whatever. How many times they put them in the press? They're doing them to my satisfaction which is very important. So once, you know, that gets speeding up, the the the, the numbers start going up. And I, I think Nipur told me when she first started, I, I think she's still here probably, that she was probably doing around 40 a week, 
35, 40, which is not a lot, right? At last count, she's averaging around 75 books a week now. And uh, that's excellent. And, and they're coming out so nice. A lot of these nine eights you're seeing here are hers, right? So that's that. Um, we're, we're, we're doing really well. So with that, it, it speeds things up and I can spend you know more time on bigger books and also doing the CGC side of thing because it's 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 a whole other animal in itself and i wouldn't just trust anybody to do cgcing because it's different right because if you've ever if you've ever gone to cgc and did a form like when you go on to cgc and do their submission form if you don't know the books your work you're your, your inputting it's gonna it's gonna be an absolute mess so you have to know comic books you just i just can't have my wife come in here and do it she'd be like what, what what's going on here my daughter did one did a set for me once i wanted to see if she could do it and she did it but it took her a long time because she didn't know if 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 you know marvel you know um if marvel premiere was an original series second series you know, you know what i mean like or you know if it was a reprint or what's marvel tales you know or anyway so it's it's you have to know the books or it becomes very, very difficult. Wow. Another awesome tech book. Again, a Neil Adams cover and art with a 7.5 copy of Tech Comics 404. Look at the colors on this one, guys. Check that out. Gorge. Gorge. Yeah, that's awesome. 9.0 Black Canary appearance of Green Lantern 81. Very sweet. Very sweet. Oh, yes. I like seeing them high grades. And I think Peter is going to like this too. 9.4 White Pager. New Gods number three. Batman 229. 7.0. Another another awesome grade. Green Lantern 80 in a 9.2. This is box number three, by the way, guys. We have another box just around the corner to do. Don't go anywhere if you're just getting here. Another big box. After this one, we've got Detective Comics 413 in an 8.5. There we go. Detective Comics 407. A man bad appearance. Awesome cover. And a 9.0. And my stack, yet again, is really high. So I'll go back to the chat room. Hit that subscribe button. Join in the chat. Join in the fun. Here we go. All right. Um... Paul O'Brien says, all grading is taking over sports cards. I think it'll put CGC in the dumper. AI grading. Yeah, but a sports card's very different than a comic book. You know, it's very different than a comic book. Even the fragility of a comic is, 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 is something to be considered, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go. I'm sure they've got something in the works. Prince Zodiac says, hey, Doc, I have, a two, I have two double cover X-Men's. Number one's Jim Lee and Fantastic Four 360, I think. The first appearance of, Mor of Mobius. If they were yours, would you grade them? I have graded um, my first Mobius. I have graded. I've got a 9.8 copy. Um, it was really high for a while. The price is kind of slumped on that one. The X-Men number one, if it's a double cover, I might try it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a more of a rarity than a single cover. But again, only if they have a chance of getting 9.8 print Zodiac. Paul O'Brien, Peter, can you comment on grade surprises? Well, there you go. There you go. Peter, if you want to answer that question, maybe you already have. Yes, all for my childhood collection. The P-Man, beautiful DC 403. Wow, awesome cover. Uh, John Gordon, woohoo, congrats. Congrats on 2K. Thank you, Paul. Congrats, congrats. All the congrats. Thank you, thank you, my friends. Go, oh, jumped really... <laughs> Chuck Hensey, that's an amazing showcase. Yes. John Sherwood, chocolate cake for everyone. Yes, for everyone. Why not? Uh, congrats on 2000. Sam T, that I should bring them to the show Sunday. Bring them on by. We'll have a look. I will be there, Sam. I'll be there with bells on. And by the way, if you're coming to the Toronto, I didn't even talk about that yet. The Toronto Comic Book Show this Sunday, the 19th, at the Monte Casino Hotel and Convention Center in Toronto. This is the GTA's. 
com the best comics only show there is it's 10 bucks to get in rob the, the the show organizer always has pretty nice giveaways this is an expanded show guys if you've come to the show before you know that there's a one room that we usually generally are in he has now doubled the size of the show no longer are we going to be stuck in that one little room well it's not a small room but that one room he has now doubled the size of it so a lot of vendors are bringing more tables more comics he's also asking guys to bring magazines in the magazines are starting to get hot now it's something this trend that's really happening so you know if you're in the, if you're in the market for magazines you, you want to come by the show as well and yes i will be there i'll be there uh, as i said with bells on taking your uh, submissions for pressing and cleaning and of course cgc submissions i'm not sure if napur will be there with me or not she came last time she may come again today i think jack might be coming along for the ride i think i think um so come on by and say hi if you don't have books to to, to for pressing and clean, at least come on over and say hi and uh if you want to beat the crowds if you want to get through the comic doctor uh lineup faster go over to my website comicdoctor.com and there's a little submit now button hit the submit now button and you can do a submission form on your pc or your mac right now uh you can print that out bring it with your comics lickety split i just make sure they're all there and you can go off and enjoy the rest of your day uh you know perusing the the, the many boxes of comic books that i'm sure will be there um Get bacon, kid. <laughs> I've only seen AI grading on trading cards. There you go. Blade Man will need an honest review of Ant-Man movie. Yeah, I know. I'm very nervous about it now. Highlights the, uh, the area of defects and the greater notes with scans. But again, with a card, it's this and it's this, right? It's not 30 pages or 24 pages or whatever. So it's a very different animal altogether. Peter's books. Peter, where were your books? I don't remember. I, I don't remember. There were probably at least eight months, I would say. Maybe 10, I'm not sure. Can't go wrong with Green Lantern, but can go wrong with my spelling. <laughs> uh, Peter G says, a well, all, all a well-loved and many times read and lent out copy of Poison Ivy 1, first appearance. Peter G says, CGC uh, uh, received the, in early July. At that time, lead time was close to 12 months, so seven months is great. Yeah, their, 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 their turnaround time for economies has improved greatly. Look it, I'm not going to lie. I think submissions overall for me have have they're still they're still consistent, but they're not as insane as it was, say, this time last year. So I would imagine the same applies for CGC. I sure hope that doesn't mean that all their recent hires are going to be laid off in the near future. I sure hope not. But um, the craze, the COVID craze is at an end. So there may be. Uh, um, you know, the wait times will not be as long. Jeffrey says, in general, we as a society overestimate the impact of new technology in the short term and underestimate it in the long term. True enough. Um, I, I'm not saying, I had a client here who was talking about AI with me a long time ago and he was an engineer and he was thinking of coming up with a machine to actually do comic books. And the beautiful thing about an AI system whereby it's it's taking it can take a picture of the front, the back, and every single page that's pretty neat. And every comic book that it grades, it learns. So the accuracy becomes even better. So do I do I think it's 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 cool? Yeah. Do I think it's possible? Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, I can just imagine kind of a puff of air. You know, if what if the book's not in, in the proper condition to be graded in such a way? What if it's brittle? You put in that machine, you're going to destroy the comic book. That's all I'm saying. Comics and cards are very very different animals. Um, have you heard any news of the new magazine cases? No, but I did hear from another huge magazine uh, collector down in Boston that they, that's the case. That there, there's a new magazine case. Thank God, because these ones are garbage they have right now, and they are uh, they're it's they're they're not stock with them yet, and that's slowing down the magazines. I know I've got Leo's books; they've been there for a million years, and I've got a, a TMNT number one that belongs to Mike out of um, Quebec, and it's been sitting there for a reslab for months and it, it's like a twenty thousand dollar book what the hell's the hold up i am only assuming i can only assume they're waiting to put these in their new slabs i think i think i don't know for sure paul so you were so you're saying sorry so you're saying request Nepur, press your books <laughs> hey listen 
Charlo and the poor do great work. And again, they all, they, they, uh, they all get looked at by me as well. So your books are not looked at by one person, looked at by two. And sometimes, in some cases, three people. Sometimes they'll work together and they'll toss ideas. Not, not, they won't toss the comic books, but they'll toss ideas back and forth, right? Or, or ask each other's opinions. So it's oftentimes, because they're working in tandem, right, at the shop. So oftentimes you will see... Um, you will get them to, uh, they'll look each other's work over and then give each other advice. And then I come around and, and uh, pick on them, <laughs> both. And, and, often, and oftentimes I'll, I'll, I'll touch up the books as well, and then we'll pack them and, and get them ready to go. I, I'm, I'm mostly working on, on higher end uh, submissions right now. Um, and there's lots of that as well. So, but we're, we're getting through them and I'm quite pleased with how things are going. And we're all getting along very well. And, and uh, we work really well as a team, which is, which is great not easy to find people to do this and keep them around right because uh you know it's 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 uh it's tough out there right in the world so you know um do the colors ever pop nice in a dc 404 they sure do okay what just happened there there we go all nice covers okay let's keep going we're not done yet we are not done yet we have a okay peter what happened here we have a uh, uh, Batman 200, and it says it's missing uh, page 11. So think back to your childhood, Peter. What happened to page 11 of this book? And it's 5-0. We also have another New Gods, a number 2, in a 9.2. Nothing wrong with that. All right. We also have uh, an 8.5 copy of Forever People number two very good but again the ripples see i don't like those ripples mm. 7.0 mr miracle number one uh nice copy of batman 221 another neil adams cover in an 8.0 talking about colors popping look at that I think I can see why Peter was a, a a DC fan back in the day. Look at these covers. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Oh, this is sick. Superman cameo and Robin backup story. You got the Black Panthers in here. Uh, Batman and Robin, 8.5, uh, number 230. Check that one out, guys. That's a sick copy right there. So, Peter, you know your books are back. If you want to pick them up, go on over to my website at comicdoctor.com. Go over to... The contact, hit appointments, and book the time, the, the date, the Saturday you want to come in, and I'll bring them in for you. Okay, pal? Again, thank you very much for this awesome submission. Thank you for your patience. Very, very cool. Some great results here. I was quite pleased with them. I hope you were pleased as well. All right. Um, Black Racer, greatest character. Yes. Someone would agree with you. Thank you, Peter G. Love the books. Yeah, Blade Man's another DC uh, appreciator. Rest in peace, Neil Adams. I was a fan of his artwork since he first started. Peter, he he was he was uh one of the best. That's for sure, one of the greats. Some cool books, Kev. As John Sherwood says, Luke says, have fun at the show. Thank you, John. I'll see you Saturday night, everyone. John, where are you going? I got another book, another box to go. I'll see you at the show, buddy. Mike made it. Phew. Michael Edmonds in for so John leaves. Mike arrives ready in time for box number four. The final box. Oh, we're going for an hour now. Gotta hurry up. Because this guy's got a lot of you're talking about logistics. I gotta pack up a bunch of books. I ran out of packing supplies yesterday. See? See what I mean? I ran out of packing supplies. So I had to pick up packing supplies and boxes. So I gotta ship out another six orders tonight. And packing six orders takes time. You know, you don't just throw, you just don't throw CGC box or slabs into a box and, and off you go, right? The packing is very time consuming because you want to do a good job to make sure the books arrive in good shape. Especially if they're going cross country, which many of them are. I got a lot of clients from BC and a lot from the Maritimes as well. Alberta way. So anyhow, there's that. Okay. So that one goes in here, and then this one goes through for Peter, like that. I got one more box, guys. I'm gonna put you guys on a brief hold because the other box is way over there. Give me one second. I will be. Where is it? I'll be right back.
right here we go guys we're back we're back we're back this is box number four and box number four honestly is chock full of invoices probably about eight different invoices here so we got comics that belong to probably at least eight different clients again guys if you're new here uh these are not my books <laughs> these books are client books that are coming back from cgc and as a extra little bonus for them i do kind of a show and tell of their books as they come back from sarasota florida um and i showcase them here and people like to see their books you know this way it's kind of fun and then we get to get talk together over at our um and our chat section there and again if you haven't taken part in our chat yet please join us sometime it's great talking to all of you but you got to subscribe to be able to access that chat uh it doesn't cost you a darn thing and of course you can participate or ask questions or what have you anytime you'd like we already have hit the 2000 subscriber mark i believe we're at 2001 now let's see yes we're at 2001 be nice to get to 2005 uh, before the end of the, the video today but if not i'm still very happy that i got over that 2000 mark okay so we start off with a 9.8 copy of Spawn, obviously signed by Todd McFarlane. Uh, it is the only signature series book in the pile. Wow, we got a really, really rough copy, but nonetheless, a nice copy of Captain America 117, the first appearance of the Falcon. We then have a copy of Daredevil number six, and that's in a 4.5, and I would imagine that this is the box that houses the books that are featured on the thumbnail. We saw the 117. So somewhere in this box, we have uh, a Submariner number one, somewhere, but not yet. Okay, we have a Daredevil number, another Daredevil. Oh, that was number what? That was number six. Here we have a Daredevil number three in a 4.5. So now we're going to some, I think this is a Silver Age box, guys, or a lot of Silver Age books. Oh, wow, look at that nice copy. We got a beautiful copy of Daredevil number five in an eight. Point five, nothing wrong bouncing up to that kind of grade level. Same with this one here, Daredevil number four. Not a two, not a three, but a 7.0. Nothing wrong with that at all. Excellent. Okay, the stack is high. We're gonna go back over to the chat, see what you guys are talking about. And if anybody new has showed up, if, you, if, you're, if you're here for the first time, say hello. And let me know where you're writing us from. I love to talk to guys from all around the country, heck, all around the world. Uh, you know I actually have just received a book. Well, I received some books from a fella in the UK. Another another UK, uh, United Kingdom, English uh, collector is sending more books. I've done a work for clients down in Mexico as well. Bernardo, how you doing? And uh, it's been fantastic to get to know a lot of people from all around the world, not just Canada, uh, a lot of American clients as well. So let's go over and see. Um, Kev said, keep the, uh, the around, almost said, keep them alive, okay? Robert N, when will you let customers know their books are back? Robert, the way it usually works is once an order is complete. And generally speaking, the way it works is this. My, like once these boxes, once I've done a video like this, the boxes go into a, uh, a sorting position. And my daughter, she, she gets the books and she takes my, I got a big huge filing, kind of a portable filing cabinet back there. And she cross references every single book with your files. And then once an order is complete, then I will, I usually text you and let you know the books are ready for pickup. Okay. Um, yeah. And right now the books, if you're getting invoiced by me, I can pretty much say that if I invoice you, like say at the beginning of the month, your books will probably all be back by the end of the month. That's how fast CGC is working. Sometimes even quicker than that. So, but that's generally the way it works. I will contact you. And then once I contact, there's instructions on how to, I have a link on there for how you can make an appointment to come to the shop in Oshawa to pick them up. Or if you'd rather, I can ship them to you. And, and to all those guys who are waiting for books from me, thank you for your patience. The books are here. They're safe. I'm packing, I'm packing a bunch up tonight and tomorrow to ship out as well. Uh, as you can imagine, packing all these books, again, it takes a full day. When I, when I sit down, when I set my sights, it takes a day, day and a half to pack up books. It, it, everything takes time, so I do appreciate that. Uh, oh, here we go. Speak of the devil. Submariner, number one in a 7.5. Amazing Spider-Man, another newsstand cop. We saw a few of these earlier on this evening. This one's in a 9.4. 
We also have, oh, nice. We've got a silk number one in a 9.8. I think that's a Charlo press. That's a Charlo press, I think. I can't remember. We got a Wolverine number one in, a, in an 8.5 white pager. Nice. We've got a 9.8 ASM 316. Also a white pager. This remember this book was this book was stupid about two years ago. Remember? It was crazy. Before that uh second Venom movie came out, it was just nuts. Uh, but now it's kind of softened a little bit. Let's go back to the chat where I can pack these guys all up. Luke, you must be storing a lot of slabs with the fast turnaround. Buddy, it's it's ridiculous. All I'm gonna say is my wife's a saint because it's a mess. This place is a mess. I got so many comics. Um yeah. John says, I'm back. <laughs> you couldn't stick, stay, around, stay away, eh, Johnny? Peter G says, great work, Cab. General comment, the Silver Age, whoop, with the mid-grades are when I was told. Oh, okay, sorry. Great work, Kevin. General comment, the Silver Age books. He's talking about the DC box we just uh, did. Uh, with the mid-grades are when I was 12 years or younger. The higher grades generally are Bronze Age and I was 16 or older. More careful with the books at that point. That's awesome, Peter. And it's great. I love, I love working on original you know, uh, collection books. It's a lot of fun to do that. Luke says, nice 9.8 spawn sign. I would agree. F Felix Maldonado is here. Hey, doctor. Hello from Puerto Rico. Awesome. Welcome from Puerto Rico. See, that's what I mean. I love the, I love to hear from all you guys from out there. Welcome, Felix. Peter also says, that Batman 200, I thought I had count of the pages. Must have missed that. When I was a kid, we at times removed pages or comic club purposes. It is possible I may still have that missing page somewhere. Interesting. Be fun to find that. Robert N., I think my books might be in this unboxing tonight. Robert, I'll know probably in a, in a couple of days. Uh, Matt, the end pause, is I think we're at the point where we can't ignore how trim the bears always look. It's simple math. I think we're at the point where we can't ignore how trim the bears always look. It's simple math. Okay, I'm missing. I, I'm, I'm not following. Help me. Help me. Help me with this one. All right, moving right along. A lot more, but we've still got almost a full, almost like a, more than half a box here. Okay, here we go. We got a nice copy of Amazing Spider-Man um, uh, 129 and a 3.0. And this book was chewed up pretty good. You can check out from the back. I can zoom in. I don't know if you can see. I'll do it this way. Uh, you can see here the spine had a lot of problems. Whoop. Can you see the spine there? I think the spine needed adjustment on this one. So it was a pretty rough book. So pretty happy with a three. Actually. We also have a, another lower grade copy of Amazing Spider-Man 194. And that one's in a 4.5. And then another X-Men number 101, another four zero. There we go. Oh, still quite a few books here to go. We've got a copy of Star Wars Thrawn number one. Action figure variant cover in a 9.8. We have Amazing Spider-Man 93 variant edition. Um, yeah. <laughs> in a uh, 9.8. <laughs> I don't know much about these modern books. If, if I'm missing something special on these books, please pipe up and let me know. When it comes to modern books, I do not profess to be an expert on variant covers or, you know, what the values of these are. So if there's something I'm missing here, guys, please let me know. Uh, we got a Punisher number 218. Uh, this one comes back at 9.2. I think I see why. Okay. And once again, my stack is too high. I'm going to have to transition out, and then I will come back. Um, oh, the beard. Oh, I think we're at the point where we can't ignore how trim the beard always looks. This one. Okay. Oh, I saw. Okay. Beard. Gotcha. Bears. with Bears. Thank you. Uh, this is not going to be on much longer. I'm, I'm coming to the end of my beard phase. And you'll notice that I, I look, I don't, I don't shave all that often, to be quite honest. And this time of year, I grow usually a full beard. And then as spring approaches, it starts getting trimmed. And then I eventually just shave it off. And I elect to go with kind of a little goatee type thing. Um, 
The problem with the beard is I don't trim it myself. I go to the barber and I can't get to the barber very frequently to get it trimmed and looking really good. I mean, it's not bad right now. It's a little too bushy, but but thank you. Thank you for noticing. Um, I think my comics are in this unboxing. Very excited. I see, I hope they are too. Matt, the end pod says, though, to be fair, have you ever seen a bear without a shiny coat? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I agree. Uh, Lewis Mendoza was up. What's up, bro? Enjoying the content. I'm just bagging my Power Comics number one. It's an indie book. Uh, early Dave Sim work picked up two copies. Very cool. Very cool. You know what? Nothing. No, I used to love bagging and boarding my books. That was something I would just. I liked. I liked. You know, when the bags got kind. Remember in the old days when the bags are kind of old and gross looking. You go to the shop and you buy some new polypropylene bags and a new set of boards and you just. Spend a whole night just going through your comics, rebagging, reboarding, and making them all look perfect and put them in your lawn boxes. It was a lot of fun. Again, just doing things like that, like just going through your collection and rebagging and boarding was a hell of a lot of fun uh, as a young man. You know, um, even going off to university and putting my collection away and then coming back after a few years and going, you know what? I haven't rebagged and boarded my comics in a while. And then I'd go out and buy some new bags and board and I'd do it again. And, and again, you revisit those comics and you and invariably you're going to, you're, you're, you're you're going to find a book and you're going to start reading it happens to me here. I'll be working on someone's book and it will be a book that I, you know, I remember having as a kid and I'll start reading the comic and an hour will go by. And I'm like, okay, I'm wasting too much time reading the books. Not enough time pressing. All right. Moving right along. We've got an 8.5 copy of Marvel secret wars. Number eight. We'll come back to the chat in just a moment. We are now nearing the finish line. My friends, Marvel Spotlight 28, first solo uh, Moon, uh, Moon Knight uh, story in Marvel Spotlight 28, again, in a 7.0. Thank you so much for liking the content. I guess I have 47 people in the house right now, and 47 likes, that's fantastic. Um, oops, let me go over here for a quick second. All right, we'll keep going. We have Omega Man, oh, nice. That's the one I want to see in a 9.8, beautiful. 9.8, Omega Man number three. Ouch. We have got an Avengers annual number 10. This book is going to go kooky, I think, at some point. And a 9.4. It's already pretty kooky in a 9.8, but I got a feeling these are going to pop. As soon as that X-Men stuff happens, it's going to pop. Nice. This is a book you don't... These books are not easy to get in 9.8s anymore. And I'm very happy this one came back. I just want to check something here. Look at this. Sweet. Sweet Christmas. There you go. 9.8 copy of ASM 299. Very, very cool. Shucks. I thought we were going to get lucky and get another 9.8. But this time we got a 9.6. And I can see why. I can see why. Uh, we got a 301. Wow. And a 9.6 as well. And then last but not least, in this box, we have... Well, you know what? I always love ending the night. I always love to end the night. I'll move this out of the way here because I have no room there. With a 9.8. And here we have a Wolverine number eight. First, Mr. Fix It in a 9.8 white page. It's the last book of the four boxes, guys. I hope you enjoyed this whirlwind this evening. I was not planning on doing all the books tonight. Again, I, I, uh, I was going to break it up into two different evenings, but I just don't have the time this week. So I figured, what the hell, do a long show, do an hour and a half show, and get through them all. We, we pretty much had 50 over 50 people here for the, almost the entire night, which is fantastic. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and watching all of the videos, or the whole video. I'll go back to the chat, answer the rest of your questions if there's any there. Again, guys, just some housekeeping. If you are new here, we do this pretty much lately, weekly. So if you love watching unboxings, guys, I think we do a damn good job here at the Comic Doctor channel. I sure hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel, liking the content, hitting that notification bell so you know when we go live. Also, leaving comments in the comment section below. Are any of the books here books that you have or books that you want? And sometimes the guys whose books these are, you know, say you want to buy them because a lot of times these books are for sale. 
You never know, right? Let people know that you want the books. You never know. You might get a great deal uh, in, the, in the chat section or in the uh, in the um, in the comment section. I, that's why I love about my shop. People come pick up books at my shop on a Saturday morning, and I see deals happening uh, with my clients. It's a lot of fun, right? Um, let's go over to the chat. We'll finish off the night by answering the rest of your questions. Um, Uh, Lewis Mendoza says, was up, bro? Enjoying, oh, did that already, sorry. Peter G, thanks again, Kevin, for your work on those Silver Age comics. Your efforts are much appreciated. Peter, always a pleasure. And Peter actually donated another comic for the giveaway. Uh, now that we've hit 2,000 subscribers, you must be a subscriber to take part in our big giveaway, which is gonna happen. Keep your ear to the, you know, on my social media. Uh, it'll probably happen within a week, a week and a half. I'll have a giveaway, like, episode and it'll be a live giveaway i'm probably gonna just whoever shows up those are the people that are gonna are gonna get the uh get taken take advantage of the prize giveaways and so i'll give you notice as to when that day is going to be so you can make sure you are there um malice 911 can't you just read the label to see what's special about it variant ratio first appearance which one are we talking about malice uh peter g i'll see you saturday kev to pick up my books peter i'll have them ready for you Digital Man, have a great night, everyone. 2,000, thank you, Digital Man, appreciate it. Uh, Adam Dolly, thanks for the show, Doc. Have a great night. Adam, you too. I will keep you posted on your book. Don't you worry. Uh, Stuart says, I think some of those books were in those... I think some of my books were in those tonight. Yay, Stuart, I hope they were, and they probably are. And uh, my daughter will get to these probably tomorrow night, I would think. Uh, James, have you heard, had a chance to start my, my, my books? Uh, yes, we have, actually. We have started on your books. Um, and I think they might even be done. So they'll be going out very soon. Uh, John Jackson. Uh, and there were some rough ones there, by the way, James. Holy geez, there's some pretty rough books there. Uh, John, you got your money's worth this time around. Uh, John Jackson says, a recent submission, I received an X-Men 266 9.8. I had it pressed, but knew it wasn't a 9.8 candidate. After looking at it, it had several spine ticks. Have you ever got a grade you didn't deserve? All the time, in my opinion, right? I see that from time to time. I'll send books in, and I'll have an idea that this book's going to be a 9.8 or a 9.6 or a 9.4, and it comes back an 8.5 or a 9 or a 9.2. I'm like, what? And then books that I thought are going to come back 9.2 or 9.4 come back a 9.8. Yes, it happens quite often. In fact, a couple of books tonight, I'm not going to lie, earlier on in the show, there were a couple of books I'm like, what, really? <laughs> really a 9.8? But hey, you know what? what? What do I know? John, what do I know, man? I just work here. I send the books in. I have nothing to do with the grading. Um, all I do is I, I get them uh, prepared as, as properly, as, 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 as nicely as possible. I pack them really, really well, and I ship them off to CGC, and then... The powers that be will take it from there, right? And hopefully they'll get the grades they deserve. That's all we can hope for, right? But listen, guys, that we've been going for about an hour and 23 minutes and 32 seconds. Again, I want to say thanks to those who stuck around, even through all the glitches I was having earlier on this, this evening. Sometimes computers act really stupid. Now it's working pretty good, but earlier on it was a real mess. So I apologize. Again, I will be at the Toronto Comic Book Show this Sunday from 10 till 4, accepting submissions for pressing, cleaning, and CGC. If you want to you know, get ahead of the game, you can go over to my website, comicdoctor.com, and you can fill out a submission form there. So all you do is you fill it out, print it out, and bring it in with your comics. All you got to do is come over and say hi, here are my books, drop off the form, drop off the, drop off the comics, and away you go. You can still fill out a form manually if you if you come there. I'll have manual forms there that are like blank forms you can fill out manually, but it's a lot faster if you do it ahead of time. So you may want to do that. All right, guys? Other than that, uh, I hope to see you, the Torontonians, on Sunday. The rest of you, I hope to see you back here again very, very soon for another episode of, of something on the Comic Doctor YouTube channel. Until then, have a fantastic night. And uh, if I don't see you, have a fantastic Family Day weekend for all my Canadian viewers. All right? Bye, guys. Have a great night. Take care. See ya.